Hello everyone. We're going to start our trifold brochure here in InDesign by going to Start, Programs, and choosing from the Adobe Master Collection the Adobe InDesign program, the purple ID. Now since we're doing a trifold brochure, when we go over here to create a new document, we're going to have to change some of these settings. First of all, it's a two-sided document, so we're going to change the number of pages to two. We're going to turn off facing pages. This is not a book. And we're going to go down here to the orientation and change it to landscape so it prints sideways. As a trifold brochure, I'm going to change the number of columns to three. I'm going to change the gutter, which is the space in between the panels where the fold is. It's measuring it in picas right now, so we're going to actually change that to 0.25 inches. When you press tab, you'll see it convert it back into picas. We're going to do the same thing for the margins. Around the edge, we're going to want a quarter inch margin. So 0.25 inches and press tab and you'll see it'll change that all the way around. It's all locked together. Okay, so once we click OK, you're going to see that we have a two-page document with space in between the columns where we do not want any text or pictures to go so that they don't get folded on. You're going to put your text boxes and your pictures on here, but let me label these so that you understand which one is which. When this gets folded up, this is going to be the front. Go ahead and increase the font size here. This is the front. Over here, if I draw another text box, choose a larger font size. This is going to be the back. And over here, this is called the fold. front, the back, and the fold. Now we have our second page here, and of course this is the inside of the brochure. So this is going to be the left side. Over here we have the middle part. And over here we have the right hand side. This is the fold that opens up so that you can see it. And it'll be on the right once you open it all the way. So if we look at the whole thing here, you're going to be taking what's in your brochure, your draft, and you're going to be putting the different parts in where they're supposed to go. Now there are a lot of text tools and a lot of drawing tools that you've become familiar with with Illustrator. You'll be able to make those graphics, those pictures using other programs and then inserting them into the different parts here. If you've created your Google document with all of the text, you'll be able to simply draw the text box where your words are going to go, paste those in there, and find the font and size that works for your brochure. So this should be saved into your H drive, your home drive. Everyone should have a brochure called Pyramid Brochure folder here. And make sure that you're saving this InDesign document with the date. Pyramid Brochure. Okay, so you'll be able to open this back up and keep working on it, draw things in other programs, bring them in here, copy and paste your text, this is how you're going to make your brochure. 